What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you who are new to the channel, I mostly review and test PC cases, CPU coolers, and PC case fans. So if that is something that you are interested in, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. And as always, there will be timestamps down in the description so you can jump to whatever interests you but I do recommend, as always, you watch the whole review. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail of this video, I'll be testing the up here NT12044. Based off the Amazon listing, it has an RPM between 600 and 1800. It is a nine fin design. It is a hydraulic bearing. It has a four pin PWM connector. For warranty, there is no warranty. There are a few different color options, and the price ends up depending on what you get exactly, which is something that I need to go over before moving on. The convolutedness of up here's fans and other products is pretty insane. And what I mean by that is understanding what you're looking at can be really hard to, well, understand if you don't know what you're looking at or for. This is because between colors, connectors, and how many fans you get in a package, there's like 15 to 20 different options when buying up here fans. So something you do need to keep in mind if you end up looking at up here fans is not all up here fans are the same. Okay, with that rant out of the way, before getting into the results of my standardized testing, I wanna be very clear. All this testing is based off of a sample size of one. So this isn't necessarily the exact performance you'll get, but it should be relatively close. Now, as always, I'm gonna start off with the PWM range testing. So at 0% PWM, this fan has an RPM of around 1100. And then at 100% PWM, this fan has an RPM of around 1850. So the results I'm getting do not match the Amazon listing. Moving on to the standardized fan testing. If you do have any questions on how I test the fans, please watch the fan testing methodology video. It's where I go over and talk about how I test the fans. There will be a card along the top. I will also have it linked in the description. The first chart we'll go over is the DBA and RPM chart. So at four volts, the fan was at 32.2 DBA with an RPM of 840. Please note this RPM will have it below the PWM range. At six volts, this fan had a DBA of 33.3 and an RPM of 1190. At eight volts, the DBA was 35.5 and had an RPM of 1415. At 10 volts, the sound level went up to 38.8 DBA and had an RPM of 1620. At 12 volts, the DBA was 41.2 with an RPM of 1830. Moving on to the airflow chart, at four volts with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 220. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 185. And with the covered panel, it had an FPM of 62. Okay, jumping up to 12 volts, just to kind of save some time. With no obstructions, it had an FPM of 575. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 525. And with the covered panel, it had an FPM of 230. Now for the temperature testing chart, so at four volts, the average CPU temperature was at 80 Celsius. At six volts, it was at 76.7 C. At eight volts, it was at 74.8 C. At 10 volts, it was at 74.1 C. And at 12 volts, it was at 73.7 C. And that's it for the temperature testing. So really not too much of a difference between eight and 12 volts. Moving on to the comparison charts, I'll be comparing the NT12044 to the Arctic F12 PWM PST, the Arctic P12 PWM PST, and the Be Quiet Pier Wings 2 high speed. Now, as you can see on the DBA chart, the Arctic fans are substantially quieter, but the up here has 
pretty much the same DBA as the Pure Wings 2 high speed until you get to 12 volts. Okay, continuing on to the non-obstructed airflow testing. The up here fan does move a lot more air than the other fans when voltage equalized. In the mesh panel testing, things don't really change too much. All the fans do drop slightly, but not in any meaningful way. Now in the covered panel testing, things do change quite a bit. There is a large FPM drop across all the fans. This up here fan still does move more air than the other fans when voltage equalized, but the FPMs are certainly much closer. Now looking at the CPU temperature testing, for the CPU temperature testing, all these fans performed well enough, meaning the CPU wasn't thermally throttling in any of these tests. Though the up here fan does manage to cool the CPU better than the other fans, again when voltage equalized. Now moving to the 34 dBA testing, so the fans are noise equalized to 34 dBA or 12 volts if the fan doesn't get to 34 dBA. With no obstructions, this up here fan was moving the air at 380 FPM, which has it at the top of the chart, but having no obstructions doesn't really mean anything in real world, and that's why I also test with the panels. With the mesh panel, the up here fan had an FPM of 330, which does have it matching the Arctic F12 PWM PST. Then with the cover panel, the up here fan had an FPM of 140, which compared to some of these other fans, isn't too bad. So what do I think of the up here NT12044 fan? Well, I think things are starting to get pretty interesting, and that's because these cheap Chinese products are starting to compete with the name brand products. The performance of this fan is pretty darn good. I was quite shocked when the air movement was so high. Now with that being said, up here as a company doesn't really exist outside of China because in North America and Europe, it doesn't seem to exist, meaning if something goes wrong and you're outside of the Amazon return window, you're SOL. However, if you are somebody willing to take that risk of not having a warranty, these fans could be a good option because they are cheaper than the name brand companies that do provide warranties. Now, if anyone were to use these fans, I would strongly suggest to use them in DC mode so that you have a larger RPM range, which should help keep your system as quiet as possible. Now, if in the future some of these Chinese companies do start providing warranties on their products, I might actually start endorsing them, but until then I can't in good conscience recommend these fans because I just can't say how long they'll last. They could last one week, six months, a year, five years, there's just no way of knowing. Well, that's all I got for this one, so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, maybe hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Also follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. Maybe check out these videos here. They should be along the same lines of what you just watched. Uh, you can also check out the HFG Discord server. I upload all the charts and stuff of everything I test on there so you can take a better look if you really want to. Now you will need to be a member to see the charts. Uh, all you have to do to become a member is to agree to the server rules. Uh, there is a link down in the description, and as always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.